up, but still down to hang. Hey, yo! Yeah! Who did this to you? I thought medieval rags were outlawed! <laughs> it wasn't a torture device. <laughs> no, it was just test tube. Thanks for patching my head up. It'll be nice to see and hear everything clearly now. <laughs> it's the least I could do. So let's the two of us lovely ladies have a chocolate cake with wit. What's wrong? Ugh, are they taking mobile orders first? No, it, it's just chocolate cake was Bo's favorite. I just want to be certain that you want it because, because you want it, not because of a string of code I conjured up. I mean, I can still like chocolate cake. Yay, chocolate cake! <sighs> you know, this small stature can be a bit limiting in more ways than one. Like grabbing some cake unassisted. Hmm. And so, yeah, then Testu built me these legs. Oh, also, she built me. I forgot to mention. I'm a robot. The two of us are filling everyone in on my new robot digs. So, what do you think? Well, that's... Amazing! Oh my gosh, right? Now I can squash and stretch just like you! Whee! Honestly, my headspace wasn't great. What with you having no aura and all? But wow, Bo, this is so... Oh, yeah. I, uh, I'm not actually Bo. So, TBD, I guess. Rawr, TBD? That's such a cool name! <laughs> no, Goo. It just means to be determined, and... Listen, TBD. Your quest is just beginning! Our new robo-testing adventures will commence! <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks, Goo. I appreciate your understanding. So, uh, I'll catch you later. Bye, TBD! Whoa! <laughs> uh, takes a lot of getting used to. <laughs> wow, so cool! How exciting, our final 10. And may I add, fitting, considering we received a 10 out of 10 on Ballpoint Pen's review. You guys are crushing it! Ugh. Crushing? Seriously? Dude, too soon. So I stretched the truth on the review score. After I accidentally crushed everyone to death last episode, I needed something to lighten the mood. Today we're going to make something awesome. Something we believe in. But why be held back by mere beliefs? That's right, this episode's challenge is to create a cartoon. But wouldn't making an entire cartoon take like, I don't know, months? Huh. <laughs> months? What are we, in medieval times? People don't make these things themselves anymore. Oh yes, it's a common misconception in the industry, but animation is truly easier than ever. Light tables be gone. Since I have absolutely no idea how the industry works, I've invited Zoetrope, a true industry pro, to walk us through how a cartoon is actually made. It's effortless, really. Simply drop your script and artwork into the animation machine, and you'll have the entire cartoon generated in seconds. Well. That and a little fuel to get the wheels greased up. Fuel? Oh, what does it run on? Uh, just a bit of cold hard cash. Each team will need five roles fulfilled. The writer and the artist will provide the necessary script and artwork, while the producer must manage, or in your case, fundraise a budget. And of course, none of it would be possible without craft services. I do enjoy an unnecessarily complicated coffee order, but isn't that a bit dramatic? Without the precise assortment of snacks and bevs, the entire framework would collapse. Oh, I may just collapse myself. <laughs> so, uh, what about the director? Oh, right. Uh, you just sit in the tall chair and look pretty. <gasps> Directors have normally paid dues by this point. No, no need to lift a finger. You get that sweet cred either way. And I'll decide which cartoon is best. So get animating. Any chance either of these pilots get picked up? Ha! Huh. Good luck in development. <laughs> Yeesh. All right, team. I feel like I've been more than direct enough with all of you. So I would hope that I qualify as director. <laughs> so uh, let's hear those objections. 
Oh, you're you're all cool with it? You were the only one with the foresight to avoid getting crushed by the bridge. And when I gave in to my own gluttony, you won the pie challenge for us. Wow, well, thanks. That was easier than I thought. Uh, Goo, what role did you want? I want to write a little something to celebrate my automated ally. And today, I'm feeling extra inspired to chase what I want. Like a person who loves tornadoes a whole lot. Uh, well, as director, who am I to get in the way of passion? Isn't that your entire job? <laughs> <laughs> I sense that pretty pictures will not be enough to mess the impending doom ahead. But I'll do my best. They don't call it mystic art for nothing. Well, I produce chaos nearly every day, so producer is more than appropriate. Oh boy, I think we have some old stuff we can sell. And I'm quite the foodie, so I'm down to cater the production. Hey, I promise, more self-control this time. Hey, you've gotta be the fundraiser! Commercials, remember? <laughs> oh, I don't know if Test Tube filled you in, but that's more of a Bo thing, and, uh, I'm not Bo. Oh, right, right, whoops, sorry about that. Thanks for letting us know about everything. We're here for you, and you can be absolutely anything that you want. Great, I want to be the artist. Oh, that's what I wanted to... Uh, you sh are you sure? Yep, I'm looking to extend my interests. Well, if we're expressing interests, I'd really like to- I suppose I can be the writer instead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry, my dear. I won't be taking any more portfolio reviews, but if you'd like a leg up, I like my oat milk latte with a- Oh, ho, ho, ho. but how can you continue without any equipment? Guffaw, you try to you. Slurp me for my phone? Perish the thoughts. Hey, this petty nonsense isn't gonna get us a winning cartoon. Hmm. Co-writers. Co-writers? Between the cabbie situation and now Bobot, I really need to keep it low profile. So, naturally, I had to be the director. We don't have a producer or craft services. How am I supposed to do both? Oh, come on. And here, wow, we have our used, rusty, dirty, beaten up to a pulp. Brand new bicycle straight out of the box. Starting bid is 10 million dollars. Going once. You're lying already? Yang, I'm not helping you commit fraud again. I said I'll treat you better, not anyone else. Going twice. So, mm, mm, mm. Ah. I know this bike has history to us, but it's of little true value. But history is value! Remember your favorite stuffed dinosaur, Riggedy Rex? There is not a night that goes by that I don't think of Rex. I can't believe I lost him. You didn't! I burned him! And he exploded big kaboom! <laughs> what? Unnecessary negotiations? Disorganized workplace? Perfectionist tendencies? This production's gonna get the axe! I have to do something! Do something? That is not the director's responsibility, Nickel. I'm appalled. Test tube, Silver's forcing me to email him all of my script suggestions. And when I do, I just receive out of office replies. He's literally right here! Trying to work me on my accrued vacation days? What a toxic workplace. As director, I simply can't contribute. But why don't you two bring what excites you both to the table and find a way to mesh it together? I suppose I could shuffle my vacation days around. My emails could have been more delicately worded. Dear Imbecile wasn't the strongest opener. Well, it was a tough call, but between funding the film and feeding the crew, a decision had to be made. So I am asking you to stop the starve! If I don't get these pinkers fed soon, they may starve to death! Or even worse, choose to unionize! Don't eat now! Lives are on the line! <sighs> this is why I should have been the writer. I could read some of my poetry on air, but I don't know, it may be a little embarrassing. We're on the move! Okay, here's one. <clears throat> I wish they wouldn't make a big deal about directors being hands-on. I don't even have hands. You know what, skip it. Whoa, a man of many words, I see. Many, many words. <laughs> Too many. Sorry, Nickel. <laughs> I've never had the easiest time sticking with anyone, but TBT and I stuck together fast, like two ends of a piece of tape. 
Queen had her story to be a celebration for her. Not to interfere, goes against my title. But uh, maybe your friendship is all she needs to feel appreciated. I don't know, just speculating. Nonsense, sir and Nickel. I need to make sure this script is a perfect pumpkin, just like Flurry's delicious. Hey, it's not reading. Hey, I said I promise more self-control. 50% isn't so bad. Yes, this is the energy I've yearned for. Only 127 attempts. Pretty standard. Candle, look, this movie is really important to Goose, so can you go help out Yin Yang? I'd hope that we can raise at least a modest budget. This is dire. I may have a solution. Test Tube, your directing advice was a game changer. We were vulnerable, passionate, and empathetic. It's the best thing I've ever made. My dear, we've ever made. Truly beautiful to behold to peasant eyes. And the art is ready too. It's like really pretty. I am genuinely so proud of all of you. That being said, don't we need like a boatload of money? <gasps> Balloon! Balloon! <gasps> oh, what's happening? I suddenly require... A non-fat oat milk latte with six pumps of artificially flavored syrup. <laughs> oh no, we forgot craft services! And the mini witch traveled like a lone soldier, marching its way towards the satiety of the world's bliss. Thank you. Just checking in, I hope you two have figured out a way to make at least a buck or two. We're making so much money! <laughs> You may all experience the beauty of this sacred inner flame power for only $19.99. And if we reach 20,000 in donations, candle will spin around in the air like a magic fairy. And for 40,000, she'll spin again. Let's not get carried away. Time's almost up and the network is counting on a big hit. And by network, I mean me. Oh, <gasps> he's back. Balloon. Where's our budget? I know it's not much, but you wouldn't believe it. People were paying to listen to- Hell, dreadful. They will barely afford us half a caviar costini. Well, we could have fed everyone and raised more money if I didn't have to fulfill two roles at once. Two roles? What are you- Oh, whoops. Mr. Director, we're happy to deliver a modest budget, $10 million. Huh? She spent so much, I almost forgot about. Rigidy. <laughs> yep, I'm not gonna ask. I suppose we can start with the pinkers. Only fair to show the lower budget project first. Not sure what the heck that was, but wow! Those graphics were insane! Surrealistic! Uh, a little uncanny valley, if you ask me. We worked so hard on perfecting that script! Barely any of it made it on screen! Uh, you know, I enjoyed the succinct nature of the film. It really captured the idea that life is just... Just fleeting. Your intelligence is fleeting! You completely missed the artist's intentions behind the story! The artist's intentions? <laughs> when has that been relevant? Again, we're not in medieval times. Not yet! Hooray! Thinkers, we may be making quite the foolish decision. What? What do you mean? We've raised ten million dollars. If we all split the earnings five ways and make a run for it, that'd be akin to winning two seasons each. <laughs> Ha, come on! We can turn this 10 million into 100! Easy! Think of the franchising potential, the merchandising, the exhausting amount of sequels! This will be one of the greatest investments we ever make! Yet another convincing argument, Nickel. We're sold. Well, it looks like it's my lucky day. Wait. Nickel, from this day on, and for the rest of your life, I wish you luck. Let's hear those objections! Oh, you're you're all cool with it? I wish they wouldn't make a big deal about directors being hands-on. I'd hope that we can raise at least a modest budget. No, 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 no! This entire day, I really thought that the team valued my leadership, valued me. But nope. It looks like all of that hope was was cursed from the start. <laughs> We have gathered here today to congratulate the bodacious droid TBD. Their presence is simply like 
a merry-go-round, spinning round and round until you truly can barely stand up from all of the excitement. You seek assistance when suddenly you trip and puke. You puke everywhere. Gotta ask, why is he a knight? With all the medieval talk today, I felt inspired. Plus, think of the world building. I don't want to watch this world for another second. And then you spin yet again, wondering, how did I even get here? And then you spot your favorite pair of loafers. That's it. I can take it. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought seen? Uh, oh, I don't know. Do it. Marvelous. Oh, looks like someone lost their security deposit. Sorry, bud. Worth, that was, well, a lot to take in. A little too much. Pinker's win immunity. Amazing directing work, Test Tube. You're entirely responsible for today's victory. Ah, hooray! <laughs> After spending such an enormous amount of money, it is only fair that Goo pays the ultimate price. Flurry, we wanted to float something down the river to you. Hooray, Nickel, like an anchor. How about you weigh me out of this? I don't want to interfere with anything else tonight. What was that? No clue, but look, we need to vote out Candle. Her control on Yin Yang is really dangerous. She made him destroy our film. Thank goodness she did, but yeah, that is alarming. I, I can't commit to anything quite yet, but whichever direction I go, just know it'll be a purely strategic one. <laughs> Thinkers, I gotta say, huge props on today's performance. I've truly never seen such a large budget wasted that immediately. I almost feel bad. Almost. Well, I actually do feel bad. So, I wanted you to have this, Yen. Riggity! I can't believe it! This is so kind that... Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh yes, this time I only birthed my half of Riggity. Ah, I see you're also committing to 50% self-control. Nice move. What an inspirational display of empathy, Yin Yang. And it has earned you yet another immunity win. So, it's now time to read the votes. First vote, Goo. Candle, one vote Goo, one vote Candle. Candle, two votes Candle, one vote Goo. Goo, we're tied. Two votes Candle, two votes Goo, one vote left. Ninth contestant eliminated from Inanimate Insanity Invitational, Goo. I'm sorry mate, after weighing the pros and cons, yeah, you robbed us of two mil each. Really breaking the bag, yeah? Ah, oh, right, that's understandable. Well, have a great day! Well, I suppose endless franchising and sequels aren't always the way to succeed. Eh, I don't know. Third time's the charm. See you, Goo. Hoping that you stick that landing. Oh boy. Clean up on aisle goo! Thank goodness I saw you before I left! What did you think of the film? It was in honor of you! Yeah, I liked it, but it was a lot. Listen, Goo, I don't need this new identity to be such a big grand spectacle. I just want you to treat me like... like me. With all of the uncertainty lately, it helps everything feel just a bit more... normal, you know? Oh, for sure! I get it! It's like you just wanted a slice of cake, and I went and gave you the whole bakery! <laughs> yep, nailed it! Well, then it looks like we got in one final win for the... Cheer, cheer Factory! factory! Yes! Well, we all wanted to cheer you on as you were pelted into the sky, but we'll fling you there another way. Tune in next time for another amazing episode of... Inanimate Insanity Invitational! Animation! 
And here I am in my glorious cartoon form, Adam here. You may recognize me from such amazing roles as whatever this is. The things I do for you guys. Oh my God. Anyway, if you enjoyed the artistic kick, then you're gonna love the sequel where we relay how to save your favorite contestants on every team. I will say! There are two teams that you can vote for. This team and that team. And you can vote on this website. Huakaira Jay! Absolutely marvelous. And just a reminder that our BFDI and II meetup in Los Angeles is next week on Saturday, July 30th. Free tickets are in the description below. All the info, all that jazz, you get it down there. We have an amazing panel of people from both BFDI and II that are going to be attending. So you don't want to miss this. Excited to meet you all soon. Can't wait.